Concord made the impossible possible. No, not buying a property in London as a millennial, but flying the rich and famous two and a half times the speed of sound in utter luxury around the world. But Concorde was known to startle the communities it flew over and even smash windows of skyscrapers as the famous sonic boom reverberated from the aircraft down to ground level. Now NASA and aircraft manufacturer Lockheed Martin are trying to find ways to lessen the intensity of the boom enough to allow supersonic flight above populated areas. But what exactly causes the sonic boom in the first place? So when an airplane's flying in, uh, through the air, it's pushing disturbances in front of it. As you go faster and faster, you're kind of catching up to those waves and they can only go uh, Mach 1 supersonic. So when the airplane gets to a supersonic speed, those waves that you're pushing in front of the airplane can no longer get out of the way essentially. And so what happens is it just makes a big step pressure increase and that's that shock wave as that propagates down to the ground and it goes by your ears, you get that sudden change of pressure from that shock wave and that sounds like a boom or an explosion. So how are you planning to quieten the boom down? So what, what we're doing with the design of the airplane is we're trying to spread out the shock. So there's a shock anywhere where there's a pressure disturbance on the airplane, there'll be shocks. So we try to make it as smooth as possible to, to reduce the number of those. But the other thing that we wanna do is keep all of those little shocks, those little pressure waves from coalescing to be either in the front or the back of the airplane. So we've designed the airplane so that the, the volume distribution increases and then decreases as smoothly as possible. We've uh, designed the aerodynamics so that the uh, pressure distribution is even, and all of those things go into keeping those pressure disturbances separated uh, as they propagate to the ground. It takes longer for that pressure change to cross you. It'll sound like, you know, closing a car door instead of an explosion. So if your design is successful, could this mean that we could see the next generation of supersonic planes flying over populated areas? That's a big part of the project, is to uh, fly this airplane over several different communities and, uh, and, and get community response to, uh, to demonstrate the acceptability of, of flying supersonically over these uh, uh, different types of communities and different geographies to eventually allow you know, overland supersonic flight.